Hey everybody, welcome back to Loop Hero. Uh, we're officially in uncharted territory for me. Any of my uh, experimenting is now worthless. I've never been to chapter two, where enemies have extra abilities and or strength. But uh, here we are, I'm very excited for it. Uh, as a reminder for the deck, this is what we're currently using. We're not using swamps, spider cocoons, or beacons. Uh, we got access to chrono crystals now, which will be cool. Uh, we have villages and uh, we'll hopefully be able to benefit from these. And I'll talk about those a little bit as we go. But uh, yeah, the other thing is if you guys have any suggestions for where we can place certain things in our base, let me know because A, there's this little icon here that I don't totally understand. I think that the uh, one is representing the level of the building. For example, the herbalist slot, we can like upgrade this and then we can get a weapon slot, something we haven't been able to build yet. Um, but I imagine there's like a adjacency bonuses and stuff, but I don't know. Uh, so if you guys have picked that up somewhere else, uh, please let me know. I'll try to, uh, I'll try to tackle it. Okay, let's do the expedition. Let's rock and roll. And, uh, yeah, this should be very interesting. So we now have, we now have potions. Your trusty travel companion heals you by 4% HP when your life is in danger. The fewer you have, the more you cherish them. And I think you get two charges uh, when you get here, but we'll see. Let's rock and roll. Give me something nice. Roll the dice, baby. Come on. Let's go, blobs. What's this? Hold on. We got... There's a status effect there. Okay. Oh, these guys hit your armor now. So this is... Okay, because in Chapter 2, they're adding uh, abilities... This could be interesting. Let's throw this in, a little defense. And it seems like each hit, they impact our armor. So if you stack uh, really hard hitting enemies on this tile, that's gonna be pretty, pretty nasty. Uh, we got road lanterns and groves. This is good. Let's get a grove down here uh, immediately. And we can hopefully get a blood grove to start getting some of those fiends. That would be real nice. I think they updated a couple things as well. I'm noticing in the top right, they have uh, these broken slots. I don't recall those being broken like that before, but yeah, I could be totally wrong. Uh, let's start placing our mountain peak here. Uh, vampire mansion. Uh, I could place this around here, I suppose, and start loading up vampires right after our starting tile. Might regret that, but you know, only one way to find out. Yeah, okay, so now we're dealing with two of them. Their armor's going to drop insanely fast. Guys, I want to say thanks so much for uh, enjoying this series as well. I'm having a great time with it, so it's nice to see that you guys also seem to be enjoying it. I would enjoy it a hell of a lot more if I got some decent drops here. Uh, but this is cool because now we get to learn all these new things that these enemies are doing. Blobs are, you know considerably less exciting than, you know, pretty much anything else right now. Okay, now, Chrono Crystals. I talked about these, I think, in the first video about ways that we can really get uh, these meadows to be super powerful. Um, doubles the effect on a day's passing on adjacent tiles. So this would impact things like the meadow, where each day you heal 2 HP. This impacts things like the grove or anything that's spawning something, where it'll accelerate that process. And I think I will go ahead and plant this in here. Um, if I... Well, actually, if I go here, this could work as well. Uh, the reason that I'm thinking about where to place this is because I want this to hit, like, three tiles on the road. I could put it here, but then we're not hitting this grove. And I want this to spawn things more frequently, especially when we put a blood grove there. Um, but here I could impact a bunch of tiles, but that might get unwieldy also so maybe i'll put it up there and we get these three tiles to benefit and i'm gonna drop in a meadow here this is gonna activate the meadow so now not only am i getting uh the three hp for activating the meadow i'm getting six and there are ways to put these chrono crystals like inside uh to put a bunch of meadows around and we will do that but um yeah okay watch the okay okay so i got bleeding that's great. 
I don't know. Oh, bloody pets. Oh, look at this. Summons bats after health drops below 50%. Whoa. And these guys are already hitting hard. Like, I think they're going to kill us here. Which means... Which means, like... Oh, my God. Which means, quite clearly, we're, <laughs> uh, we're not supposed to be in Chapter 2 right now. Let me tell you. That's insane. And look at it. Swarm of bats. <laughs> Whoa, repellent squeak. Everyone who doesn't have this ability gets the ringing in the ears effect, which has a 10% chance of interrupting attacks. Whoa. 20% chance to cause bleeding that deals eight damage after every attack for the next three seconds. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's pretty scary. We definitely need to build up a little bit more in chapter one because we're just dead here immediately. Oh, cool. I Okay, that's fine. That's fine by me. Now I know how dangerous it is. I'm alive, but how? Thanks to us, the small group of us dragged you here. It wasn't easy. How could you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. Well, that's also interesting. Many of them vanished right before our eyes. Some we managed to avoid, but I think most of the beasts were gone even before they left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memories, my friend. Everything falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. <laughs> okay. Uh, chapter one, please. Let's get stronger here before we dabble over there. Uh, specifically, if we focus on getting to the smithy, we can at least start an expedition with basic warrior gear. Like, that will be a pretty significant boost. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's do that. Let's chapter one this. And we'll just jump right into one right now. I wasn't, I had no idea what those extra abilities would entail. And holy smokes, they entail a lot of extra craziness. I, I could have used healing potions for sure, but, uh, I don't know that that would have, uh, I don't know that would have done it for me. 4% HP. Yeah, we still would have been dead. Nice. Finally a weapon right off the bat. Let's rock and roll. Now it feels like we're just hitting, like, trucks. 96 armor, not bad. Hey, Vampire Mansion? Mm. Let's Vampire Mansion this area. We'll start placing some drops around there. Hey, we're actually... This is nice. We're getting an assortment of drops already. All right. So, Chrono Crystals. Uh, let's see where we're going to place that. Here's a village. Okay. So, now... This village is going to heal 20, 20 HP upon entering. And we get a quest. Quests are essentially spawning stronger monsters on other tiles. When you kill them, you get bigger rewards. Um, so I'm going to place this down here, I think. And this is going to turn this into, I think, a ransacked village. Yeah. So the farmers couldn't fight off a hungry vampire. And this is because of the combo with the vampire mansion. Uh, they could still fight you off, though. Spawns up to four ghouls once per loop. Now it's up to, but still, that could get pretty intense. Transformed into something useful after three loops. So pay attention to that. I'm pretty sure we can take those ghouls. Like, I'm pretty sure. That. Um, so what I could do here is... I'm looking for where to place my Chrono Crystals in a spot where I can get, like, a bunch of uh, meadows around it. And what I could do is, like, I could put this here. I could activate two meadows around that. Pretty much only going to be able to activate two, I think. Um, placing them inside is going to be not really working out that well. So we probably want to place these in spots, again, where we want extra things to spawn right after the camp, I think is pretty good. And then I can activate a meadow above it. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we're healing already. We're doing six HP per day, three and then doubled by the Chrono. I'm going to try and hold these rocks for a bit. Oh, nice. So let's put this right here Get our first grove. Actually, we'll put the grove here. Doesn't matter. We could probably put it, uh, we could probably put the blood grove down here, but let's put it right after. I'm trying to save for rocks here. Oh my god, that's a lot of 
A lot of little ghouls. <laughs> Weird. I at least have that damage to all. That's not bad here. Oh, wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Um, let's actually take this little bit of regen and evasion. This is hitting pretty hard. Unfortunate we're attacking everything before the vampire, but uh, that's life, I guess. Ooh, that's... That is scary. That is very scary. Uh, I'll put the blood grove here. Um, vampirism, good. Defense, good. I might have to just, like... Well, this even doesn't... This doesn't even matter, because if I'm not getting to the top here, then that's fine. I uh, remember as well that we have XP now, so once this hits 200, we'll be able to activate a perk. Okay, let's be very cautious here. Four to six still, uh, magic damage and defense. So we, this is actually six defense, which is the same, but we don't have the vampirism, and we definitely want that right now. Um, I could do a grove here, I suppose. But I'm worried that we're going to hit... Well, are we going to hit two days there? I'm going to wait. Just because we took so much damage. Is this better? Nope. Cemetery. Skeleton. Um... Let's put this, like, right in front of us. We definitely won't hit the skelly, but... Yeah, I'm concerned about this. We're regening a little bit as we go around. Okay, what do we have? Nothing. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. Even though we don't have the full P here, but if we do get the... If we do get this, I think we at least get the bottom end boost as well. I could be wrong. Normally when you place these, it's only adding like to your top end, but maybe I can't remember if the mountain's peak gives you that bottom end boost. Okay. Nope, that's not gonna do it. And it's up to four ghouls, so hopefully we can get lucky here and get fewer than four ghouls spawning. Um do this. The meadow 2 HP at the start of each day. Uh, I'll tell you what. What I'll do is put it in here and hope we can activate this with something else. This is at least doubling this. Um, I could place this out here. Actually, yeah, no. If I place it out here, I get three. If I place it here, I get four because of the doubling of the chrono. So that's better, albeit um, scary. Okay, there's a big heal. Now, we do have, we do have our potions, which I should be testing. Because I've never used potions before. I've never reached this point where we had access to those. But we're doing okay. We have a village here. Um, we could put it down. Do we want to put another ransack down? We have to face four ghouls here. How do I use this is the question. Let's go into planning here and see what I need to do here. Oh! It just used it. Okay, hold on. Maybe it, like... I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to trigger it. That's weird. Heals you by 4% when your life is in... Oh. Oh. Maybe it just automatically does it. Yeah, I think so. It just uses it when you hit, like, a certain uh, percentage. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I got some stuff I need to throw in here. Definitely this. Definitely this. Damage to all at 7 is no joke. Uh, will that save me here? I kind of need the vampirism to heal. Uh, 
Yeah, this is really dicey. Straight up defense versus 18% vampirism. Um, we're gonna beat this guy, so that's fine. Where are we? We're coming up on blob, blob, skeleton. That's a little bit concerning. If I put this grove down, we're definitely gonna have a, another fight over there, which I think might be okay. Um, do I want another ransacked village? See, if we can survive this one more time, then this heals us by like a lot. So I think we're going to play it cool here. I am going to take the higher defense. Just to mitigate some of the incoming damage. Where should I put you? Should I hold on to you? Maybe I should hold on to you for now. Yeah, I gotta. I just gotta play it cool here. Just getting dumped on. Oh, we got our perk. So this is nice. You trade. The hero rushes into battle head on, and his first attack has a 75% chance to stun each enemy for one second. That's not bad. Get a new set of three traits. Doesn't spend points. I don't know if that helps me here. Hero leaves 10% of his findings in a camp. When passing through a campfire tile. Oh, that's not bad. So that if you have to run away or if you do end up losing stuff, you're you're at least like positing part of your resources every time. Mm. I'm going to go here because we need to focus on surviving. I don't know if this just gives us three traits right away. I don't really want to experiment here when things are dire. So there's the stun. That's nice. Um, hmm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to do this. I should have waited until the new day ticked over, but that's okay. There's a stun. We only took one attack. Okay, that's turning out to be pretty nice. I can, I can see value there. Um, if this gets too dangerous, I can nuke it. Okay. Now. Now. We can start stacking this. So now we're healing plus 12 per day. Um, I can meadow this. So we're healing plus 12. Adding one meadow there. Takes us to plus 18. So you can kind of see where this is going if you start stacking these things really aggressively in here all of these things start to overlap oh actually does, does, oh maybe that doesn't stack oh my bad okay that's not stacking there but at least i'm hitting that one okay so good to know i made an assumption and the assumption was wrong facing kind of some basic stuff here. Seems okay. Uh, I hope we get lucky and this doesn't spawn four ghouls. Um, we are going to heal when we get through here. This will be the third time we pass the ransacked village and we'll get some charges of this, I think. It says charges left. Now you have one less companion. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think that's just a joke. This is dicey. Very dicey. I'm going to put this in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we did spawn a dog on a blob thing as well. It's a bit scary. So, oh, actually the blobs aren't that bad. That's right, because they don't do armor now. They don't do armor. Reduction, like we learned in chapter two. Okay, 
Okay, so let's watch the bottom end. Yeah, okay. But it doesn't. It only impacts the top end, just like regular rocks and stuff. That's fine. Oh, man. Okay, so we should be able to make it through here. 131 health. It's not amazing, but we've been in worse positions. And then we're going to heal. Um, unless something spawns during this fight, which is possible. And then we have two two dogs here, one here, but this might spawn as well. Let's see what happens when we cross. And then I might nuke something ahead of us. Ooh, big evades over there. Okay. Now. Can't really... I could squeak out some meadows, like, over in these areas. We could blood grove here, but I don't... I don't know if these stack. I'm kind of thinking maybe not, but you never know. This game's weird like that. Okay, so we're at 330 here. And, oh, nice. We're turning to Count's Land. So now we heal for 95 when we get in there. Plus we get the quest. So I, okay, I'm feeling a bit more confident. I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. Um, let's try and throw in some additional uh, groves here. And we could try to sp spawn those bigger, badder dudes. And then we should consider if we're going to place another village. I don't think this actually drops anything now. Like, this won't spawn anything. So if I drop another village here, now we're going to have, like, this big healing... Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Bandit Camp showed up as well. So put the Ransack Village down. It's got one ghoul plus a vampire plus bandits. Appears for every two village tiles. Okay, gotcha. Bandits prefer villages. Spawns a bandit on an adjacent tile every two days. I'm going to just oblivion that right now. Okay. There's a big armor increase. We only have, uh... Oh, we have 17% evasion, actually. Let's keep this for now. See how we feel about it. Counter of 20%. I think we take this as a huge boost in levels. Alright. Hold up. We're gonna fight some slimes. Um, I'm gonna give up on evasion. We're not going, like, all in. Oh, in here. Even better. Uh, Mountain-wise, we can just start placing as, like, throwaways, maybe. Uh, we should probably get more skeletons going. Now, let's throw a skeleton down here for now. And then I could throw a village, but, like, this section's getting pretty dicey. Uh, but we are also getting stronger. So, thing is, you got to fight four ghouls back to back. That I, I don't think that's super wise of us. I think there's crazier things that we can come up with <laughs> if we want to get ourselves killed. That's an interesting mechanic, this whole 75% uh, chance to stun each enemy for one second. It basically means that they lose out on an attack. The way that I see it. See, we already used one of our healing potions there. Alright, this is fine. Let's take this shield. A little bit less defense, but more regen, which we definitely need right now. I'm not going to use this sword. Uh, a treasury would be dope. Let's throw this in here. Let's start to surround this with, uh, with some groves. And then... Uh, let's just hold on to these. So we have counter of 20%. I think I'm actually going to swap this ring. And we're going to put in uh, the regen for now. Because that, that's where we're lacking here. We are going to heal up here 95 HP, which is good. After a couple goes through here, um, we will be able to, to take advantage of this. Now, one thing that I should test. Notice how it says transform into something useful after three loops. 
Let's say I'm on this tile right before the uh, cozy camp. If I... Oh, nice. We got a fiend. If I place it right before we hit that loop, I imagine that uh, that kind of eats up one of those loops and it will spawn faster. I think that could work like so, like that. Okay. Let's put this here. So we start spawning chests in this area. So it looks like it's 75% per per enemy. They didn't all get stunned there. Only two did. We're hanging in there, but I'm not feeling super strong yet. And that's the risk with these, right? Is you have these really difficult rounds where there's so many enemies. I could probably do some chrono crystalling around this kind of thing. Uh, and this is something I just need to practice is figuring out like what's the best way to maximize our HP per day uh, with these meadows. Now notice this thing's got a little king on it. I don't know why he's a king. Oh, I think he's a quest. So I think he's going to be a stronger uh, skeleton. Quest goal, yeah, 200% HP, so they've modified him. But uh, skeletons already drop good stuff, so just hoping. Oh my god, that's kind of scary. We are tickling this guy right now. That regen, though, he attacks pretty slowly. That's kind of keeping us alive. Quest done, very nice. Same, uh, but man, it's really throwing counters at us right now. I'm kind of liking the regen though. Like 6% counter increase doesn't really get me excited too much. Yeah, let's just let it roll here. Here's hoping we get really lucky with our next uh, XP hit. Okay, Harpy's in from the peak. More rocks. I'm going to hold those for now. We have a big messy fight coming here. Holy evade, man. Ooh. Holy evade is right. For us. Go. Okay. Now, do I want to simmer this down somewhere? This would be something really good to pair with these ransacked villages, in my opinion. This one I don't have to worry about. Um, this could be scary, but I think we're okay. I'm gonna pair this over here. Let me put it here so it hits six tiles. And then uh, we've got a village and vampire mansion. Let's, well, let's test this theory right now. We're coming up on this. So I'm gonna place a village. And it's going to count for three loops. So I'm going to do this, like, do it here. And then I can Vampire Mansion here and activate that meadow. Uh, or I could put it in here so it's with the grove as well. Yeah, let's do that. Still activates the meadow. And now we're going to count three loops to see if this thing, in fact, spawns uh, or changes just three times passing this or three full loops. I'm guessing it's just passing. Good. The nice thing to see is like we're we're ahead in damage right now, which is really nice. Uh, let's add this. This one gives us defense, but I want like that's a significant damage boost, so let's take it. Nice. Okay. 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 Um, let's start from here. So we have, we have, oh, he dropped a bunch of shields, man. Come on, brother. 
So we've got regen right now. Um, vampirism and regen. Which is pretty good. A little bit of evasion versus attack speed evasion. I think I take this here. Yeah. I mean, this is technically 16 defense if I look at this one. Vampirism's the same, but uh, we don't have the evasion. Evasion's at 25% right now. That actually feels pretty good. I think I'm just going to leave that. Um, the mace, same damage. We get regen, damage to all, and magic damage. Big boost. Those rot fiends, or whatever they're called, those are really nice. Yeah, really nice. I think I'm going to plop this in here just to kind of like simmer down this area a little bit. These dogs can move between tiles, so things can get kind of unwieldy. I can maybe throw one here as well. Um, maybe I'll do this to just simmer down that area when we reach it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and keep... I think I'm going to keep the evasion rock in there. Let's go. A little bit less armor. Now, we've got a, a little bit of unlucky card draw going on here. Uh, this Oblivion, I think, is going to gonna fall off, unfortunately. I just realized. Oh, God. Maybe not. Hopefully, they don't drop any more cards. Ah, there it goes. I mean, I, there's nothing I really want to Oblivion here anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But, um, yeah. If I want to place a second treasury, might as well. And you know what? I'm just going to... Because I have so many rocks. I'm just going to get rid of these. And get a bunch of resources there. We're going to hit our next XP target right away. I've got Chrono Crystals ready to rock and roll. Um, hmm. Where do I want to put these? Oh, yeah. See, now we got a goblin camp because of all the rocks. Uh, this is a little bit of a dangerous area. Plus, those goblins are going to have uh, vampirism. Just, just lovely. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. More vampirism at the cost of regen. This takes us to 20. No, regen's only 1.8. I think... Uh, what's our damage? Higher. This gives... This gives... 5 damage to all. I don't know. I might roll with that, I think. Mm, 10% less evasion. A little bit less armor, but regen. Let's take that one. Where do we want to put this? Let's wait. We have a bunch of rocks and stuff. So, a little bit of a damage boost. Regen's the same. Yeah, we just keep what we have. 